Okay, another program that we use um, when we do our robotics is called Fritzing. Um, it's a great program that we can use to simulate what we build. So obviously open your browser, browser type in Fritzing and you actually want to download it. So you see you can actually build little circuits on it which is pretty cool. Go to download, you can donate if you want to. Okay, now depending on what operating system you're using, um, you can choose which version, Mac, that's the Mac version, Windows, 32 or 64 bit. Um, if you don't know what version of Windows you have, whether it's 62 or 32, what you can do is um, if you have a, a My Computer icon like this, you can right click and go Properties and it comes up here 64 bit operating system based processor. Um, so that's one way to figure it out. Um, otherwise, I've put this here so I don't have the, all the squares that come up on my screen because I don't like that. But you can actually open Control Panel. Um, so you say you open the big panel screen, you could just type Control Panel and then open this up. And then um, if you go to the one that's called System, it's the same and it tells me that I've got a 64-bit operating system. Okay, so we can go back to our browser. So I'm going to download the 64-bit version. So I've got a 64-bit. Okay. So I'm just going to pause the video until it's now finished downloading. Okay, so it's finished downloading. Now you can extract it however you want. I have WinRAR installed. So... Okay, so it's finished extracting. So I just go open the, the folder, double click for fritzing.exe, it's loading. And here it is. This is fritzing. So we want to do a breadboard. That's our little breadboard there. And we want to put an Arduino in. So um, click that one for Arduino, and it's loading all the different kinds of boards. We're going to be using an UNO, which is the board that um, you're going to get in your kit. So, you know, we've got all these parts over here, um, all kinds of different things. So, I guess, you know, you got your resistors, we're going to learn what they do. Um, you got your LEDs, which are light emitting diodes, which are lights basically. You can connect them in. So, you got the one with a bendy leg and the one with a resistor. So, if you want to connect things, you just click click somewhere and click where you want it to connect to. So um, you see there's a wire going there and we can connect a wire somewhere else like that. We can also um, right click the wire and change the wire to a different color if we want. All kinds of different things which is pretty neat. Um, we've got other things as well. So we've got a little, little speaker if we want and um, you know an LED which has got multiple pin um, legs. Um, you've got microphone, all kinds of different things, and you can go long here and you can look at them. Um, you got different, you can put another breadboard in if you want, don't have to, or you can select and delete it. Another interesting thing is when you connect the wires, so if I join that there and there, if I click and hold there, you see all of those ones that are highlighted with the, with the yellow, they're actually all connected. There you go, so if I click there you can see all of those are connected now. So the wires actually connected them. Let's say I went and joined that one to there like that. You see those are all connected as well as the little dot that's on the Arduino as well. So this is how we use breadboards. You can see the lines are connected vertically. Vertically just means up and down like this. Um, so they're not connected this way. So if you plug something in, you plug it in like this. That way the legs are not connected that's separate and that's separate. It's kind of like they're not actually connected. Okay, so that's just a basic overview how you use Fritzing. Um, so it'd be a good idea to install this as well before you come.